Hello, Jack and Jules, and welcome back to The Room After Dark. I'm your host, Epic Botch, and thank you so much for joining me today. In the last episode, we happened to make this particular puzzle box open up a little bit more. We have a constellation above us, and now we're going to go ahead and focus on the top of the box. We do have a little bit of a story going on. We seem to be trying to figure out what's going on with someone who's been investigating this element called the Null. And it sounds like they were doing some really shady stuff that they shouldn't have been doing. But we, as far as I know, I don't really know this character's relation to that person. We just are trying to figure it out. It's all a part of the grand scheme puzzleness. So we have a large circular indentation. It doesn't look like we can really do anything with that. How about... No? Oh. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and look at this. So that's facing the correct way. It looks like we need a key of some sort in order to be able to turn it. Okay, so we can't do that. It won't let us focus on that. Not that. What else can we focus on up here? Anything? I'm kind of just randomly clicking. And that's something. I can kind of see what's down here again, but I don't think it wants me to focus on that. So what can we- oh. Look at that! A brass winding handle. Perfect. August 15th. Something is wrong. I followed the incantation to the very letter. Astroth did not appear. There are no answers to be had. More questions. The visions have increased. They gather to me, and I cannot stay in one place for long. I try to monitor them, but the lens hurts my eyes. I have mixed a solution for the pain. For those that follow and find this journal, I lack the power to describe this. There is no concept within the human sphere with which to explain it. The house is so much larger now. There are rooms everywhere. Okay, creepy. Very, very creepy. Uh, this looks like something we should be able to focus on. A small socket? Is that the right shape, though? Now that's a circular... I mean, I'm always... It's always good to try things, I suppose. Can I... Oh. I just had to turn it a little bit more, apparently. Okay. Oh, so a lot more the same what we saw in the, in the last ch two chapters ago. There we go. Um, hmm, we got a sword? And this... Okay, so it won't let me move anymore. What is this all about? Oh! Oh. I have to angle it. Is there a way to- okay. It's gonna say I'm like, I don't think I can do this without angling more. Can I- This is- No? No? I think this is the way that I need to- Hmm. I just don't know. Um, and it seems that we're actually missing quite a large part of it, too. The only other lines here are these here. Okay, let's see what a hint. The face of the wood frame has taken on a strange- okay, yes. I 
I understand that. Although, is it possible to... Hmm. Okay, I see that. Will you give me another clue that isn't so... Will you give me another hint? Perhaps my eyepiece will reveal... I'm, I'm aware of this. I, my question is, how do I move this so that these can line up differently? Or maybe they're actually just pointing me to something. What's my third? It's another perspective puzzle. I'll need to rotate... Okay. That... <laughs> Thank you. I understood that. I've understood that for a long time now. Ugh. That wasn't particularly helpful. And obviously there's a sword here, but I can't seem... <sighs> Apparently I was... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Jack and Jill's that makes me so mad. Ah! Ah! An or ornate ancient dagger. Thank you! Because I did not... <laughs> ah, I love it when I just miss one step and then I don't know what I'm doing. Whoa! Oh! Ooh. Well then, so we have a keypad. Oh. Sir. Oh. Hmm. Is that something I'm supposed Am I supposed to do something with that? You know what? I mean, it obviously had us focus in on that to begin with. But I don't understand what it's having us... Oh. And is it just me or did those three in the lens actually look different? I don't know. I don't know. Let's focus on something else for a little bit. We'll come back to that. So we have Earth and the Moon and the Sun and Mercury and Venus. Is Venus really that big? And then what's this one out here with two moons? I don't know. I don't know. Very interesting how Earth is having a solar eclipse. But there there doesn't seem to be anything that I can focus on aside from that little Oh, and this, but I don't think that's gonna help us yet. Um because it's not letting me click in on anything here. So back to this. <laughs> Do I need to pick everyone that doesn't have that? Oops. A cover slid back to reveal a set of buttons. There must be a clue to the, the code. Oh. Well, we still have those. So maybe this is the way that we need to have the planets line up? I don't know. Got another clue? Could the eyepiece- oh. <sighs> okay. Through the eyes piece I could see a pattern on the wooden frame. I should try entering it into those buttons. On what wooden frame? Huh? I don't- Through the eyepiece I could see a pattern on the wooden frame. I should try entering it into the buttons. I kind of wish you could see my face right now because I'm pretty sure I've been spinning this board around. Ah, 
So it's a zigzag. Yeah, I would not have guessed that. Ever? Oops, I reset you. So it's like this. Okay. That obviously did what we needed it to do. Let's turn that off because that's going to make me dizzy. What? Oh! So we have an eye. Okay, and that's it. So, whoa! Very dizzying. And look at that! Okay, so we gotta pay attention for that. Let's focus in on this. Oh! Okay, well then, I don't think that's gonna just be magically where we need it to be when we want it to be. So let's go ahead. It's making a Y shape this time. Let's go ahead and put that in here. Let's see what it does. Okay, that's more helpful. Here we go. And now we get this, a large golden amulet. And look at where we, we know where that's gonna go. Right here. Oh, and look, now we can finally spin this around. Oh, this is important because we need to be, so it was, I think, basically there. Let's go ahead and move it so it's kind of hard to see that those arrows line up and see, see what this gets us. Oh. Mm. Oh, I don't even need that to see, to see this. Okay, well, let's go ahead and spin it around some more. We'll spin it so that that arrow lines up with it. The one in the middle of those three. I don't need a help just yet. And then... Let's see, I don't think it's gonna do a time for us per se. So we have, hmm. Okay. Did I even see what was on this side? So two up here. So this one is two on the third one. One on the top. The middle was going to be... So the, f the first one was two here. This one's one. The middle's two there. And I think... This last one just has maybe one or two. Yeah, so one. So it goes... I wonder if I had to do it in a certain order? So the first one had two here. That other one had one at the top. The last one has... Okay, so... So these ones have two. These ones have one. And this one's three... Is it three? Oh, I'm losing it. Third one. Bottom one. Sorry. Third one, bottom one. Middle top. I don't I don't know if that helps us. 
You know, actually, I'm not 100% sure what we're supposed to be doing with this information. Because if you look at it, we can also see down there. Um, do I have any control over that? Not by the looks of it, aside from spinning it around. So, what's our first clue? The wooden frame, I can see. Is that another pattern for the buttons? Son of a... I don't know. Is that another pattern for the buttons? I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. I'm sorry I'm using more hints than I have been. Sorry, not sorry. <gasps> oh, these are the... Oh, okay, that's what I need. Um, so the bottom two, one... Okay, okay, I get it. I get it now. So let's do this piecemeal then. Um, so I know those two. Bottom two, middle. Because I don't think these have a timer on them per se. So I can... Yeah, that would have taken me a long time to figure out on my own. What I needed to do there. That was just a lot of... Okay, okay. So one at the top. And then this last one. Oops, went a little bit too far. There we go. Okay. See, that's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. Alright, looks like we got it correct. And now we have... Oh! He drew... He drew something of that. The energy source harnessing the null element. Let's, um... Oh. It's gonna let me... I want to take a moment to look at that, though. Can we just... Okay, we can just spin it around. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I should have probably... Oh. What else is gonna happen? Anything? I just realized... Oh. I don't know if I can look at the thing. Yeah, okay. So now what? Probably focus on this again. Yep, there we go. Whoa! Oh! Okay. Now we're surrounded by rocks. Can we move... Hmm. But these aren't quite right. Oops. I wonder if I am... Wow, that's ridiculously easy to move them. You're probably just going to tell me to look at this. Okay, so we can see them, the symbols. It's just not quite right. So I was kind of wondering if we moved it, if it was kind of based on... Where, what side of it it is, but it doesn't look ho 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 ho. Okay.
Now what? Oh, I'm supposed to put it there. So we're getting sucked in somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> now we're a high priest. Well, Jack and Jills, I'm gonna have to call it an episode here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this installment of The Room After Dark. Yeah, I'm so far I'm really enjoying this game. I'm very interested to see what the final chapter is all about. Maybe things will start to click and make sense as far as what's going on with the story. I kind of have an understanding, but at the same time, there's not a lot of context for who I am, why I'm here, why I'm doing this. That being said, thank you so much for joining me. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you enjoyed it. Give it a like. And you know, if you want something a little bit more upbeat, I highly recommend going over to Bard Bear, see what he's doing. He's the other person on this channel. We have lots of fun. He does things on his own. I'm obviously playing this, and then we play a game together. All of it is just a lot of fun. Thanks again for joining me, and have a wonderful rest of your day.